<sighs> I'm so pale. I'm so pale. Oh. Hey everybody, Mr. Eric Jenkins coming at you with a brand new Pokemon card unboxing. Hopefully you all are having a phenomenal day, weekend, month. I know it's been really rough, but you know, September bringing in the fall months also brings in new Pokemon products. So today we're actually going to be unboxing the Eternatus VMAX Premium Collection. This dropped uh, this week, the first week of September. Pretty cool looking set. Uh, runs around 40 US dollars or so. Um, if you get it at Walmart, Target, GameStop, all those places. My local GameStop actually ironically didn't have the tins. There's two tins, an Eevee and a Pikachu tin that are going that go along with this, uh, which are a little bit cheaper. They only had the boxes, so that was a little strange. But anyway, without further ado, let's flip on over to the table where we will be unboxing this bad boy right here um just to let you know there is choking hazard small parts not for children under three and functional sharp parts look out for those functional sharp parts everybody uh so let's look over to the back and then we'll go over to the front um right here we have a one full art promo card featuring eternal v which is one of the big cards uh, one foil promo featuring Eternus VMAX, one collector's pin, one oversized, oh, um, excuse me, one oversized Eternus card. That's the big card. So we got two uh, promo cards, which is cool. One metallic coin, one code card, which I am actually going to hold on to the code card. Uh, any other code cards from the packs will be shown on camera, as well as six TCG booster packs. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel as I'll be doing more Pokemon unboxing as, as the years, well, year goes on. I don't know about years, but the old man Squidward opening freaking Pokemon cards. But as you can see here, we've got the two, we have the Eternatus V on the left and Eternatus V Max on the right. Three and three, we've got the pin behind closed doors. Thick boy, big card right there, and the coin. But as I was saying, as I open this video awkwardly, please consider subscribing and liking for more future Pokemon cards, and as well as card unboxings. This week, um, going into September, I am going to be doing some more uh, baseball card openings. So if you don't just like Pokemon, you like baseball cards, please consider that as well. And I do, I will be opening. Um, or going over some other collection stuff, uh, mainly video games and movies, as it, we're getting closer to that spooky time, Halloween. And I will have some long-form content as well. Um, so the first piece of plastic, beautiful plastic, look at this. Thick grade, loving it. Um, we've got the coin. Pop that sucker out. That's a coin. You can flip it, you can hold it, you can do whatever you want with it. I don't care. That's the coin. Backside, Pokemon logo. Let me carefully remove these out of the plastic as I do want to hold on to these. This is a little ridiculous. As I say carefully, Little hidden compartment door. So there is the VMAX Eternatus. Very, very cool card right there. Check out the back. Very, very nice. Let me sleeve that up as I remember to bring sleeves this time. Uh, if you watched any of my baseball card videos, I did not bring sleeves to the table. Shame on me, and we're going in reverse order. We're going to the other Eternatus, the Eternatus V. Very, very cool card right there. Give y'all a little zoom action right there. Ooh. And the, the, you know, it's not badly off-centered, which I've seen a couple people open these boxes and did not have the best of luck. Alrighty. So we've got 
a pen as well as an oversized card. These are pretty cool. Um, they really don't have the biggest purpose, but they are very, very cool to look at. Uh, I have a, a lot of the Hidden Fates ones. So this will pretty much just be off to the side. I might figure out, I might decorate, you know, part of my office with it. Eternatus pin. Pretty cool. If I can get it to focus. Not as cool as the Zacian or the Zamazenta pens. It feels flimsy. I mean, it's a, steel, it's a metal pin, but I don't know. Eternatus isn't my favorite Pokemon from this, you know, the Sword and Shield sets, but still a cool card no matter what, or cool pen. Code card goes off to the side, piece of plastic, it's yeeted. Let's move these back over here. That also will get yeeted. Here are the packs that come in the box. We have a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows going into a Rebel Clash, Darkness Ablaze, Evolutions, Sword and Shield, Regular Base, and Darkness of Blaze. Um, give me one second, I'm going to have to switch my battery because the person that wants to do YouTube does not know how to charge a battery. So, give me one moment. I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. Oh, I something, something money. Come on, give me lots of money. Alrighty, and back. Sorry about that. Um, so, we have the packs right here. Um, we are going to open a Darkness of Blaze to start things off. And let me know down in the comments if you've ripped any of the new products that came out in the first... Oh my goodness. Can't even open this pack. The first week of September. Um, I haven't done any of the tins currently. But I plan on doing them hopefully soon. If this video gets enough, you know, a couple likes on it, and you guys are interested, I will definitely consider doing those tins. I know you guys killed it on the uh, Hidden Fates opening, so expect some more Hidden Fates coming out soon. We have a Meltan Reverse going into a... Oh, let's go! First pack magic. Mew V. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's check the back centering on this. Uh, very cool. Uh, not bad, actually. This is one of the better... I mean, off left to right a little bit, but... Not bad for our first pack. Not too shabby. Shouts out to Adam Sandler. Always be one of my favorites from the 90s. Garbage goes in the trash. It's overheaping. Uh, let's go into Rebel Clash. But, you know, the Darkness of Blaze packs I've been enjoying still have not pulled a big flying lizard yet. Hopefully one of these days I will open the one with that card in there. I will jump for joy and it'll be great. But next couple weeks I will be opening some... Um, I will be opening at least one Hidden Fates box because you guys have really enjoyed that, those videos. And from what I'm seeing, uh, we have a uh, Barnacle Boy Barbacle Reverse Rare going into a... Oh, let's go, everybody. Woo! Uh, we have a Rainbow Alina. She's pretty spider All right. It's, it's funny. I was looking up... I forgot what I paid for the box because I was all... I also got the new Tony Hawk game and I was like, holy crap, like, why is my total so high? Well, it's okay. I was actually going to ask is... <laughs> If, is, do you think it's worth it? 40 bucks, but... Olina Rainbow. Very cool. Very, very cool. And we got a reverse rare in there, too. I'll put them in the stands. I'll put them in the stands for that. In a Rebel Clash. I don't even open a lot of Rebel Clash, to be honest. Um, I mainly stuck with Sword and Shield, which I'm going to go into next. So, one of the first packs of Rebel Clash that I've opened... Starting things off right. Maybe I'll have to rip a couple of those ETBs that I've, I ended up picking up super cheap back in when Target was running some sales. Crushing Hammer. Going into a Groki, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Pharaoh Seed, a Morpeko reverse, holo, uh, reverse rare, and a Lapras. <laughs> Lapras VMAX. Holy crap. We are pulling straight fire, everybody. Lapras VMAX 
from Sword and Shield and a Morpeko reverse holographic. Gonna give that a a little little nudge nudge light right there, a little recognition. Lapras V Man Holy crap. So three packs in. We've already pulled Lapras V Max, a Mew V, and a what rainbow. There's the value right there, everybody. Holy moly. We still got three packs to go. We still have three packs to go. Uh, let's do Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Never got into this series as I got in, as I mentioned in earlier videos. I joined the, uh, rejoined the Pokemon community. Oh, 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 ho, ho. Eric, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. How, how are you knocking stuff over? He's a savage. He's a savage. Anyway, um, as I was saying, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards very recently with the newer set, uh, Sword and Shield. You know, it's, I started playing the game, started enjoying, or started getting back into what the, like, the po like, you know, understanding what the Pokemon were, which was one of the big things I did not get with, some, like, X and Y and stuff like that. I, I haven't played in years. Magikarp Reverse going into a Arcan Arcanoid, Arcan... Arachnid. <laughs> Araquanid. Okay. So, not a, the best pack in the world. Let me readjust this back to normal. There we go. My apologies. Evolutions. Remember, it's three to the back. That ripped very easily. That ripped very easily. Code card on the back. And, I'm, and I will say, I did not switch out any of these packs. I'm not one of those people. I legitimately had to change the battery and mess around with some camera settings. This is not a loaded. This this just happens to be a very very nice box. Um, you know, I'm very excited. So these cards I do enjoy. Evolutions. I didn't rip a whole lot of them, but this is reminiscent of the older style cards that I grew up with. As I drop a super potion on the ground, use an item finder to find it. Ghastly, Diglett, Rattata. Char Char, Psychic Energy, De-Evolution De Spray, that used to be a rare card back in the day, now it is not, going into a Eradicate, non-holographic. As I was saying, just got back into collecting Pokemon cards very recently with the Sword and Shield set, been enjoying Darkness Ablaze, um, and it's been starting to rip some cards, and you know, want to take you guys on the, the journey of me collecting cardboard. And as I said in the beginning of the video, if you please would give me a subscribe if you are interested in this type of content. Come on. Focus. There we go. Uh, give me a, uh, Consider subscribing to the channel. Leaving some comments down below of what you'd like to see getting ripped in the future. As well as, um, you know, interacting with some of the chat. And always please be courteous to those around you. That's the one thing that I do ask of y'all. Bunnelby, Vanillite, Gothita, big fat reverse holographic squirrel going into a Flygon non-holo. So not a bad box. Um, I would have been pretty sussed out um, if the rest of the box was as hot as the beginning. Uh, it did cool off a little bit. Uh, let's go over some of the big pulls um, from this box um, as I shuffle everything around. Eternatus VMAX, that's a promo card that comes with the uh, box. Mew V, a Rainbow Olina, very nice card, going into a Lapras VMAX. Eternatus V, that's the other promo card, as well as these two right here. We have a Barnacle Boy, a Reverse Holographic. Let's get that set up right there. Come on, very cool Kanye. And a Morpeko reverse holographic as well. So that has been the Eternatus VMAX premium collection unboxing. Let me know what you thought of the product. Stay tuned for more unboxings in the future. As I stated before, I will be going over, um, I'll be unboxing a few more Hidden Fates um, items as they have been starting to be sighted in the wild. 
um, at Walmart and Target. And I will hopefully be opening some more Darkness of Blaze packs in the future. Champion's Path is coming out in about a week and some change. So hopefully my ETB comes in time. I will be unboxing one of those as well as some loose packs. Um, and also this week coming, I do have some baseball card openings as well as a very, very cool uh, Mail Monday video, which is a segment I do about what has come in the mail, whether it be cards I purchased on eBay, as well as some stuff I got from you know, various collecting uh, throughout the week. And I do have, it's a very emotional unboxing. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to check it out. It does involve some Pokemon items and cards. So if you're interested, please check that video out. It'll be up Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But that has been this video for y'all. This is Mr. Eric Jenkins and peace out.